boy. Hello. Yo, we are here with the real deal today, peeps. Yeah, yeah, real good. That's what we do. You gonna turn your camera on or you gonna be uh... I don't have a camera, we went over this. Yeah, that's, that's okay. yeah, no, it's okay. I promise. You know, I'll get a camera soon. I've been looking at cameras to get, actually. But you know I'm making sure that, you know, it's in the it's in the right cards, you know. Making sure when I get the camera, it's not only going to be a good camera. I have the I have the perfect lighting. I have everything. I have all the things that I want and desire. Not all the things, because you're going to see the progress. It's going to be great. Okay. Whoever's going to be viewing this in the future, you guys are going to watch the progression. That's so amazing. You're going to watch me grow step by step, getting stronger, even more powerful. It's your own version of that real life anime. It'll be great. Version of that real life anime. Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> good. Good to know. I'm <laughs> okay. I appreciate I the, the little I let him know. the little monologue there. That was helpful. Yeah. All right. Uh, yo, welcome to the real deal for anybody who uh, is joining us, which is currently nobody, but that's okay because you never know. Bro, you don't have to add that. They don't know that. <laughs> they, they, we could have had a massive following from the very jump. They don't know what we're doing. Look, you keep that under wraps. Okay. We never talk about the numbers. Don't mind me eating a pulled pork burger. Okay. He ain't even sharing. Trash. Oh, I'll share with you. We just gotta come over here and get some. Uh, I'm good. Missed a lot. <laughs> I know, that's a lot of prep work. I, my water. I, I really like this uh, mic, but I also feel like... What's it called? ASMR? Yeah. Like, the detail in every little thing I do. Like, if I drink water, I can hear myself drink the water. Good, like, good. <laughs> People want that. That's content. <laughs> mm. Every gulp, just... <laughs> mm. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's that good quality content. That's, good that's quality. what we're about. That that real deal content. That that's real all. deal content. Let me. Uh, okay, I so I met somebody today. I'm about to send them. Uh, yeah, I'm about to send them the link because they said they were watch. Oh, okay. Let's see if they're full of deception, disgrace. No, mm -hmm. real Dizil, baby. Okay, I'm going to. Okay, so uh, t yeah, well, today we gonna be playing some Animal Crossing, y'all. So, yeah. yeah, you know, that's you about to sit there and play Death the Video Game? That's what you playing? <laughs> no, that's the, that's what Animal Crossing is. Oh, it's Death, Death the Video Game. Death the Video Game. <laughs> Death. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yes, no, it is. Dang, that is so true. I like, I, so I'm like two million bells in debt right now. For those who don't know. This game is literally, yeah, it is. It's debt, the video game. It's like, bro, I feel like, worse than I feel real like life. Is, bro, I feel like this is what they should do. They should just give every kid Animal Crossing and that teaches them how to manage their finances. <laughs> <laughs> that is so hilarious. Oh, my goodness. That's, 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 that's the platform I'm running on. Ah. I'm putting Animal Crossing in schools. And like you really gotta like hustle <laughs> to get that money to pay. Exactly. And you be, and you be like, bro, so I'm ready to progress in the in, to, in society. I'm ready to upgrade my life a little bit. And they be like, <laughs> but like, you nah, you broke. Debt? And he, you be like, no. And he be like, okay, come back to me when you pay off that debt, and then we can talk. I be like, dang, for real? Like I can't even. Be like, yeah, no. that's how life work. It's like you got a loan, bro. You can't, you can't do anything Man. if you're still paying off this loan. Exactly. Your credit score bad. <laughs> <laughs> it do be feeling like that too. Man. Okay, I'm out here rocking the the grass skirt. You know, pick up my rock. Okay. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this game is literally death. The video game. That is so true. Yeah, so, I know. I don't think it's uh, raining where I currently am right now, but I'm about to, because I, I actually don't know how much debt I'm in, so we're going to find out how much debt I'm in. Mm -hmm. really 
Isn't that such a sad state of affairs? I know. Like sadness. Okay, let's take you on a little mini tour of my island while we uh, find out how much day I got. Mm, sad. It's so unfortunate. Yeah, I know. So, uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, comics. Oh, okay. What is... Ooh. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> What's your favorite comic? And it could be anything. Japanese, manga, or... Oh, I mean, if you're... If we're completely the manga, I'm pretty sure mangas will have to go in there, because, uh... I read a lot of stuff, man. Like, like I read everything. I read manuals. I read webtoons. I read web comics. I read, I read okay. so much. Okay. But What's if... A, What's a good one for I, you? I... Ooh. Like I never like it I just be read a whole bunch. Okay, be... so the most perfect one, the most perfect one that oh, had most like perfect. Fin- yeah, like when it like I started it off, finished okay. it, ran will be solo leveling. Solo leveling okay. was like was like pretty good. That's so pretty Korean good. Manga, it had a pretty decent story. Yeah. It wasn't like stereotypical. It, it, it wasn't boring. It, it, yeah, it just was like it was just a perfect like ah everything's good. Now there's a lot of stuff like is is solo the one I got most hype over? No, man. Like That's the new true. chapters of Hunter Hunter came out, and I've been like sitting there breaking out my thesaurus trying to figure out <laughs> the, the decipher <laughs> all these meanings and stuff like that. Like yo, <laughs> reading in between lines, just going like, all right, what are you trying to tell me? Come on, give so, me, give me all that. I'm quick, just, I'm sucking it all in, absorbing quick, it. Quick little um, update. I am yeah, I'm two million. One hundred and forty-eight thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna sit there, put a deck counter every time. You <laughs> I should add a deck counter. That would be literally hilarious. Oh do it, God. do it. Just have a deck counter. Like this is where we are. Where Just I'm every going. week, put no Animal Crossing. He's like, yo, look, bro. Every day, I'm losing my debt. You can lose yours. Financial freedom. <laughs> Financial freedom. I'm, I wake up every morning. The first thing I do is I walk to a rock and I hit it with a shovel. That's bro, how I start my day. Working hard, bro. Pulling oh, myself up goodness. by my bootstraps. By my bootstraps. Uh, but um, but yes. Yeah, no, continue. Uh, back to yeah, back to your comic question because I love those, but I also like this uh most recent Jonathan Hickman run of uh X Men has X-Men, been fire. X Men versus Bruh. Avengers versus uh, oh J- Eternals. Yeah. Honestly, I wouldn't even say that. That's the culmination. But I like what they did before. They were like Powers of X and uh, oh, House of X and Powers of X. Oh, yeah, oh, House of X Powers of X. So that, good. All that, this has just been like a great run, and I've been enjoying every second of it. And then you know, like I also uh, picked up Marauders. I picked up. There's another one. I picked up X Force. That was X Force is all right. I like Marauders a little bit more, but it's just been like we've just been having like some good actual comic book runs. Um, before that, I liked the uh, Dark Knight Metal, okay. which was a Batman story. So like I read a lot of stuff. Yeah. Is the point I'm trying to make? And when you were like, oh, what's your favorite? No, like, it doesn't have to be your favorite. Just one that you're reading right now that you like. Oh, okay. I mean. Yeah, not all those. Right now, like literally, literally right now, I just got finished reading uh, LC, which is like a webtoon, you know, mm-hmm. not sponsored but could be sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> but Quick little I'm reading that and the advanced player of the tutorial tower. So these are just some things I'm reading. There's a lot of stuff I read. A lot of stuff. Like if one of these days I'm actually going to go down and make a list and keep it updated and like do all that stuff. Of like I've read all these things. I've watched all this stuff. This is my list. Hashtag, that's what I do, so. Oh, okay, word, I don't have that time. <laughs> Gotta step that game up. Oh. Nah, bro, I'm too busy reading. But yeah. Yeah, hold on, give me a hot second. Go ahead, go ahead. I'll sit there and keep everyone entertained. Yeah, Hello, everyone. Everybody entertained. It is me, the greatest. <laughs> Not really that great. I just sit here and exist in a, a, a speck of dust in this universe. It's just here to lull you into a comfortable place. I've been thinking a lot lately. Colors are weird. Like, what decided colors are going to be what they are? Why is blue blue? I'm happy that it is, but you know who who made that decision? Who's the person who decided this is what blue is? Everyone 
is gonna, you know, make that. This is how we are. Fine. Things I worried about. Now I'm sitting there watching them take time, not playing Animal Crossing, getting further and further in debt. It's okay though. Whoever would imagine a popular uh, thing for enjoyment is getting in debt to a, a raccoon. I'm trying to remember the raccoon's name. I don't remember it, but it's all right. I'll remember his name. Who 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 owns your debt, Gracie? What you say? Who owns your debt? Who owns your debt? Who owns my what? debt? Yeah, in the in the Animal Crossing. What's the uh, the raccoon's name? Oh, uh, Nook. Yeah, Tom Nook. Tom Nook. That, oh, that nigga Tom Nook. Yeah. Boy, just me, it, bro. Bro, then. Bro, look at you sitting there. That house, that house you bought so old, so decrepit. You need to spice it up, bro. I got Ooh, this furniture uh, for you. You could you could finance it today. I know you don't got money. He just gave it all to me. <laughs> but oh, you did good that. with those payments. Got this hot hot tub for sale. Now should I buy mm. that that hot tub? See, this 13, is how the cycle keeps ticking. Thirteen thousand, man. That thirteen thousand. This is how the cycle continues. I'm dropping this thirteen thousand. This hot tub. No, oh, my tub God. Right? Oh, okay, I guess if that's what you're into. That's what I'm into. Me person. All right, go ahead. Live your best life. I'm not gonna stop you. Hey, Tom, look, this boy got to be loaded. He got to be loaded. Yeah. Yeah, because you buy probably. everything from Tom Nook. You do? You do. Like, and from his store. Yeah. He like, runs the town. He runs the town. He, and, he, and the other thing is he convinces you that you run the town. But it's all just a lie. <laughs> he convinces you that you run the town, but then he charges you debt. To live in his town. Yeah. Dang. Bro, it's just a scam, bro. This boy got a business. Mm -hmm. He is running it so successfully. It is what it is, bro. Wow. It is what it is. Man, I'm sitting here like a crazy person thinking I'm important because I'm helping Tom Nook run his town. And Tom Nook. It like, happens. Tom Nook's in there like, got him. It happens to the best of us. Not me, though. <laughs> I, I did what I, I did what I knew I could do. Just not talk to Tom, bro. If I don't talk to him, he can't put me in debt. Tom Nook, boy, sound like a crook. I'm trying to figure out where my little, you know, you get the little uh, light spot on the ground to bury money in. I'm trying to find that. Why? It's like a bury money in the ground, guy. Oh, does oh, cause don't it make a money tree? Yeah, it makes a money tree. Bro, that's Man, a, that's a life would be so great. No, <laughs> no, it wouldn't. It would not be great. <laughs> if you could bury a money tree, no, it would not be great. Tree. Life would be phenomenal. It would not. It would be the same as life is now. It's 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 not. Look, everything's not all it's cracked up to be. Do what glitter ain't go? Do you have a money tree? Well, I don't want a money tree. Okay, so it sounds like you can't actually talk. Bro, you know? Oh, there's that hole. Found it. Let's get that hot money. That hot money tree growing. Is this literally what we doing? That's literally what I'm doing right now. Money tree, let's go. <sighs> All right, but anyway, so we were talking about comics. What are we, are we, we talking about? Comics, yeah. Well, we we want to talk about the culture. How 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 how? Remember back in the day when you, if you read comics, you was about a, a select elite group, <laughs> uh, a, an elite membership that only you and so few other people have because I wasn't one of those people. I didn't read comics back in the day. I was I didn't have that comic book money. Comics is expensive and heavy. <laughs> I, I did in a whole I I I'm going to say this. I did not participate in the internet and the viewing of a, a lot of these things online with the intention of scamming out artists and all that stuff. Yeah. I did not do that. 
But I do know a lot about what happened back then in the day. But I did not, did not do it to scam. Basically, I'm trying to sit there and do a, a legal way of saying, I, 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 you know, I used to pirate. You know, you know, you be on the internet. You know, you get to, you can see everything, bro. Everything was on the internet. The good old days. The information highway. Read a lot of my, got a lot of my comic knowledge from the internet. There you go. What do you feel like? Uh, do you feel like you learn more about comics from comics or from other things like Wikipedia and stuff, or uh, listen to other people talk? Probably listen to other people talk mainly because oh, like there's a lot of comic books I read. Okay, let's 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 put it this way. A lot of why I read comics and read stories and stuff like that is because I want to talk about it. And so I read just to have information so that way when I sit there and talk about theories with other people and do all this stuff, I have something to, you know, fall back on. Some, you know, some, you know, some information. So, like, uh, but I would say that, like, when you talk to other people, it does give you a, a lens in which you look at things. So there might be, like, well, I might read something, and then I'll talk to someone else, and then because of their input, I'll look at something back. I'll go back and look at something and be like, oh, yeah, and I'm starting to see all this other stuff. And I really do enjoy that, and I really like that. But, uh, yeah, I like that, too. That's dope. Yeah. And that's the point. This is why I hate those bulk readers. What's those a binge reader? readers. Those binge readers. Oh, who have those gone people through the struggle through. of having to stay current. Bruh, I hate y'all. <laughs> <laughs> we need to stay current so we can have a conversation about also, it. Also, this stream was sponsored by Banner Made Potato Chips. Psych, nah. <laughs> Not sponsored, but could be sponsored. <laughs> could be sponsored by Better Made Potato Chips. You are watching right now. I love Better Made Potato Chips. They are crisp and clean and we all know they come from a natural right. source. Got a little bit of ASMR real quick. Oh, okay, okay. Alright. Alright, here here we go. We're chilling because, you know, we need money to buy more comics. <laughs> That's right. Money for comics. Money for uh, comics. And I listen to Oh. <laughs> don't. Please stop. There we go. <laughs> I don't like this. That was don't our come. ASMR break for the day. Oh, okay. But yeah, no, man. I I really... I feel the community is based around people being current and having conversations and theories yeah, and stuff like that. I agree. And, and, and the frustration is real when you interact with a person who's not current. <laughs> Bro, because they'd be like, oh, we, I haven't got there yet. And I'm like, then what are you doing? Like, <laughs> so, so why are you even talking to me right now? <laughs> it's not even like, why are you talking to me? But it's like, yo, what are we, what are we, what are we supposed to communicate with? You want, you want me to wait for you? Why? Things are happening right now. Stuff is going on. Like, we need, we need to talk about it immediately. Like, I, that, I look forward to that every, every Monday, every other day. I do it mainly with mangas because, you know, I know a lot of people read mangas. Comic books, that is that is one thing. Comic books is a very much a personal choice. It's like, some people will read, like, this is what I read. I don't read everything. But, like, manga, you got a nice community of people yeah. who are like, no, I read, I read this, 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 and this. And everybody reads it so we can talk about it. I also love how with a, a manga, like, it's so funny when a person, uh... When a when a person enters that community and they haven't read everything, mm -hmm. like they're not current, and everybody goes, uh, what is it? Or, or I think people or, go like, uh, or, or they're anime current, and then you're like, oh. <laughs> I think people go, oh. I, I feel like a lot. That. I feel like a lot of times, especially if they're like new, like if they're just not current, <laughs> then yeah. But if they're like new, you're like, yo. Yeah, I can't yeah, yeah, yeah. wait. Yeah, you about to strap in. You about to get on for the yeah. ride of I, your life. I agree bro. with that one hundred percent. Like, if they're mm -hmm. new, then yeah, you embrace them. But if they just not current, then it's kind of like, like, or, if, or you if they, anime current, you like, oh, you anime. Current. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know that many people just stay anime current or show current. But I know a lot of people who are, uh, who are like. Uh, who will be like, oh, I started, but I just, you know, fell off and yeah. haven't kept going. I mean, I, I've done that for a couple of series, too, because they weren't. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I've, I've done that a couple of times. And I, and I, feel, it, I feel for that. Yeah, but uh, what I was going to say is that uh, I feel 
that uh I just and just from this conversation I've discovered that and that's not true for comic books. Comic books is weird. Comic books is just like you wait for the entire event. They're like people talk about it, but typically people don't talk about an event until it's over. Yeah, that's true. Like 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 you were saying that X-Men versus Avengers versus Eternals. We talked about it a little bit, but like we don't really go in like yo yeah. until like the entire event is over. Oh yeah, we got uh I love TV girl who just hopped in the chat. Oh, okay. You love TV? That's nice. They said that they, they get it. Yeah. Just, I think uh, I know who no, I love one TV of girl us. is too. One based of on us what they put Maddie B. Oh my gosh. Get out of here. I know who you are. <laughs> Dang. Dang. <laughs> I'll hear it just dry snitching. But anyway, <laughs> But yeah, no. I don't know, man. I like the culture. I, I, I just, I, I don't know. It's weird now because everyone, everyone's a a, a a comic book nerd now, or yeah. everyone feels like they're a comic book nerd now. I feel that. <laughs> uh, uh, I love TV Girl. Feel free to drop your favorite comic book <laughs> or manga or whatever, or whatever you like. Whatever you into. Whatever you've been reading. Whatever opens the pages and whatever has pretty pictures to look at. Pages. Uh. <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. That's all what I'm full of. Great lines, content. But anyway, <laughs> but I don't know, man. It's different. I'm it's definitely say, interesting. That, so, so you mentioned uh, solo leveling, which I love. I love yeah. solo leveling. Uh, what's your greatest, uh, like besides solo leveling, I guess, or maybe it is solo leveling. What's one of your favorite ones that's like done with? I really liked Black Cat. Black Cat. That yeah, is a well, classic. A oldie, but a goodie. Yeah, but like nobody knows what Black Cat is. That's true. But, you, you really have to be about the culture to know Black Cat. Like, yeah, like I honestly, I ran into Black Cat because I, uh, I played like the jump like game. And so I saw that on there and I was like, oh, what is this? And so I went back and read it and I was like, yeah, this is nice. This is, this is good. But like besides, I, I feel like Black Hat is one of the few ones where it's like ended that was really like another one is like Nagima. That's true. That's true. Nagima is really good. I and did UQ did UQ uh, holder did that? Uh, I don't think it, it, it. I think it. I might have, but I, I I remember it was like wrapping up. I stopped reading it because it okay. got bored. But yeah, I stopped reading it too. I'm gonna go back, but I just I stopped. I might go back one day. One day, one, <laughs> one day I'm day. gonna collect everything. No, nah, cause like, time. look, I've uh, we've talked about this before, but one day I'll have a library of every manga, comic book, or everything I've ever read, and it will be all everything you read. I'm, everything. I'm, I'm only keeping the things that aren't trash. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not trash. Because right. I'm not you're spending right. money on trash. If you okay, I won't say it. I won't. I'll keep everything that I feel has value. There it go. may, it, 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 I wouldn't say it would be trash, but there's like I'm gonna keep the mediocre ones too. Where I was just like, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't bad, but like, if it, 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 it's a vibe, and I want to keep those because right. you you can't just keep all the good stuff. You gotta remember, like, oh yeah, this is the meh. Like, <laughs> I love TV girl said that she loves the X Men series. Uh, Yo, wait, wait, have you been reading? Have you been reading the? Uh, most recent X Men. So they Most said that they like uh, Days of Future Past, which I it's pretty okay. good. Comics are pretty good. Uh, I, like I, I am past. curious. Yeah. If, uh, I love TV Girl. You have to let us know if you have read the most recent uh, uh, House of X and Powers of X because it is phenomenal. That's the best. If you like X Men, you're gonna love that. Yes. Uh, they asked. Days of Future Past. To cool. Tokyo Ghoul fans, which I no. personally. <laughs> <laughs> so fast. <laughs> I I'm a huge Tokyo Ghoul fan. I I have cracked it open. <laughs> you never even read Tokyo Ghoul? Nope. Nope. Ah, that is depressing. Just, nope. I looked at it and I just felt the edge lords just sitting there <laughs> all over. I was like, no, nah, I'm good. I'll pass. So, uh, so uh, for, for those who don't know, Tokyo Ghoul is essentially. It's essentially a story about racism, and it's instead of <laughs> instead of black people, 
their ghouls. <laughs> Word, I didn't notice. <laughs> That's basically what the story is about. And the ghouls in question run a, uh, you could call it a laundering business for bodies. <sighs> That's my best way to not spoil the story. Mm-hmm. I think Tokyo Ghoul is phenomenally written, but I think it's very complicated, very complex. And so it's I feel like it's a I feel like it's almost like a novel. Like Tokyo Ghoul is the kind of story you can't keep up with week to week. You need to be you need to have it complete, which it is complete. You need to ha- have it complete and then you need to be able to like read it and and like as you read it understand it. Because it's not like, uh, it's, I don't think it's a good story to read, uh, you know, week to week. Uh, I don't know. I didn't do it. It just didn't have the thing. Every When I got into it, or when I, I was aware of it, but I never had any interest in me. And then it blew up with the uh, opening, because I, I, everyone hears that opening all the time. Yes. Yeah. But but uh, and it was like the opening came out, the anime came out, everybody was going in as a what's the main character, Tak Tak Takumi yeah. or oh, yeah man. yeah, and like every con you would go to, they're just people dressed up, and I was like, all right, this is this is one I'm passing, but it's fine. Look look, everyone has their things. My my, my Tokyo Ghoul was D Gray Man, but nobody knows that one. <laughs> so, like that's what that's, I do. It's, it's I mean, on my list. I just haven't read it. Yeah, I know. No one has. It's fine. <laughs> it's, it's good for like the first, you know, probably 100 chapters. And then after that, you just kind of like, oh, okay. Also, I All was right. trying to marvel at the way that I set up my my museum. Look at this beauty. Ugh. Look at this beauty. <laughs> yes. yes. Bro, that museum doesn't matter. It matters about your debt. <laughs> what, what's your debt counter at? <laughs> Bro, and can I tell you... Uh, okay, let me let me get these fossils uh, analyzed really quick mm-hmm, because mm-hmm. Uh, we're about to go back to this in a, in a second. Let me see. Okay, let me talk to this. I love how the owl be awake at night, but when you talk to him during the day, that boy be out cold. I mean, he a nocturnal animal, bro. All right, he a uh, night owl. He, <laughs> uh, he I love don't TV believe girl. in the sunshine. I love TV girl. Uh, so we checked the debt earlier in the stream. The stream is currently at drum roll, please. Two million dollars. <laughs> Your boy is broke. <laughs> so I love TV girl is at uh seven hundred thousand bells in debt. God dang, dang. this boy Tom Nook is making a bank on us, and we are suckers mm-hmm. for it. Look, I know you, y'all, y'all, <laughs> Miss, <laughs> not me. I don't look. Uh, next week is Pokemon time. I'm about to be a rich man, just beating up children, pets for money. It's gonna be great. Oh man, okay. This is literally hilarious. Yes, so yeah, so I'm I'm too big in the hole right now, but uh, It's okay, you'll get out of it. I'm getting out of it slowly, slowly, very slowly. Uh, let's see, assess fossils. Yeah. Uh, so well, yeah, Days of Future Past is a good story. Days of Future Past is a pretty good story. And it introduces It's, it's a not lot my favorite one. It, it, <laughs> it, it, <laughs> so I love TV girls just said that uh, they're 95% sure that Tom Nook is part of a pyramid scheme. <laughs> and they said they, they just stopped paying their debt. <laughs> Dang. No, you got to pay that debt off. Yeah, they get that, mad. Man. Tom Nook don't play. Tom, he don't Tom, play. Tom Nook got, uh, he got goons. He'll ostracize you, bro. Right. Nobody's gonna come to you. They be like, bro, you the mayor, but <laughs> what you really doing, bro? Our town is suffering. Our town is but, uh, suffering, and we waiting I'm saying for all you. This, I'm saying all this. I play <laughs> Animal Crossing like one time. Yo, I love TV Girl is a boss. They was like, what are they gonna do? Are they gonna evict me? Dang. Uh, nah, man. See, y'all playing that, is. man? That's not. Again, me continuing being the weirdo. I didn't play Animal Crossing. I played Harvest yeah. Moon. <sighs> I sat there. I, I got a farm. I picked up the radishes. I planted. I fed my cows, milked them, and then, <laughs> then sat there, tried real hard to get a wife. <laughs> yep. Yep. They didn't have debt, but I also was just broke. <laughs> That's what I believe in. Uh, that's hilarious. Yeah, but yeah, but uh, I don't know. Uh, Bracy, I have a question though. Yes. What do you think? 
what do you think has the edge? American comics, mangas, mangas. What, what, what do you, where do you think the the creme de la crop lies? Creme de la creme. Okay, so before I, we talk about this, I just want y'all to admire my beautiful outline for my museum. Uh, just, I want you to understand that this staircase and this staircase and this bridge cost your boy a pretty penny. And that's what I'm currently paying for. So. Okay, so what that has the edge. He's, we're going to talk about my debt. You got to see what it pays for. You got to see what, it, what I'm paying for. Okay, so... Uh, okay, so it depends. Uh, I need to understand... Uh, let me sell some of these fossils real quick. I need to understand... Uh, what... When you say the edge, do you mean, like, who's doing better? Or who like, is... Who like like in my opinion, who I think is better? In your opinion, what genre do you think is like on top? If you if okay. we had to rank them, what's your ranking? Okay, so if I was to rank, and I would I would say in terms of excellency. Mm hmm. So I had to take a bite of my burger really quick. Oh, okay. Uh, I would say you that. Stop <laughs> I would say Japanese uh, manga, and the reason mm -hmm. being is because they, their stories are, uh, what's the word? They're, mm -hmm. they're done in-house, and so the difference between a Japanese manga and an American, uh, you know, United States American comic yeah, 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 yeah. is that uh, a comic book character is a business it's a franchise it's not a standalone character uh and so because it's a franchise uh anybody can write that for that character uh as long as they have the rights or they're uh, given the rights to write for that okay character. and so because that's the case that means that the person who started spider-man you know, Stanley. Uh, yeah. Once they, if they don't care, somebody could come along and say, "Hey, I want to write for Spider-Man," and then they could say, "Okay, here's the rights for it. Feel free to write a story about it." And then they'll interpret what they think Spider-Man is to be, and then do those things. That's fine. However, when you've had 60 years of Spider-Man stories. Uh, and you've had well over a dozen or two dozen writers for Spider-Man, that becomes a problem because Spider-Man becomes uh, more inconsistent over time. Now, I'm not saying that his stories aren't good still, but his character changes and changes and changes. And so, and sometimes they're not always better, they're not always better changes. Sometimes it's like, uh, this, this doesn't line up with how his character normally acts. And the same goes for characters' powers and uh, characters' backstories. Uh, and so I think that what I like about uh, Japanese manga is that because this whole story uh, comes from a single author, even though they might have other authors involved or other uh, illustrators and um, mangaka uh, involved, what I like okay. is that the story comes from one person, so it's a lot more... Like, if they have flaws, like, if they have plot holes and stuff, then that's just them as a writer. Like, they just suck as a writer. But okay. if if, uh, if it's a American comic, one writer could be excellent and write the heck out of some Spider-Man, and then the next writer could write... The set, like another story that because because you know they the stories transition from one story to the next story and it's from one writer to the next writer so if the next writer is trash mm -hmm. then it's just yeah, trash then it's just, yeah. <laughs> and like the story becomes trash and the potholes become tra and it's like ah uh, like this and so that's my big issue with American comics and the other problem with American comics is that all of the stories tie into each other. And so uh, it's, it's like this paradox of in order to know everything, you have to know everything. Where with Japanese manga, you can just pick up a single story, start from the beginning, and read it through until you get to the end. When you think about One Piece, One Piece is vast. And you could make the argument that 
uh, the world of One Piece. It's not as big as the Marvel Universe, of course, uh, but it, it feels very big, and it feels alive. Like, it feels like there's a lot of stuff happening, and that comes from one person. And right. with, uh, you know, American comics, it feels the same way. Like, and the, the universe feels alive, but it comes from so many authors, and so many authors are going to interpret that, you know, alive feeling differently. True. Okay, I get it. I get. It. I see your point. And said, I, I, I kind of agree. I kind of, or let me put it this way: when you're looking at pure view of, hey, what person made this art form and stuff like that, you're right. A lot of manga artists they work tirelessly to make these things, and I'm not saying comic book artists don't, but it's a very, it's very different when you see different people's runs of stuff. You'll have like, oh, this person is doing a run of this, but then they'll do it, move some other stuff, blah blah blah. Um and yeah, I can see that point. And it also sucks because cool. also, you, you got you got you got writers like Jonathan Hickman, and then yeah. you, you become tied to them. Like Jonathan Hickman has his own comic books uh, storyline called mm -hmm. East of West, and I haven't started yeah. it yet, but uh, I want to read it. Yeah, uh, I, I think I've heard of this, and I want to read it too. Yeah, but but it's like. You become, uh, you know, if Jonathan Hickman ever decided to write for DC all of a sudden, then I might be like, you know, sorry, Marvel, like, I'm mm -hmm. gonna follow him because <laughs> yeah, he writes no, I mean, really good. That happens all the time. That happens all the time. <laughs> I know it happens all yeah. the time. And that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's like, I, it sucks because I, then you don't follow a specific character. Yeah. You're following a writer right. because the writer writes that well. True. I mean, but the same thing goes like, because. Uh, Jack Kirby started when DC went to, or did he start in Marvel? I can't remember. Started in one, went to the other, made like so many different characters, so many things. Like a lot of people, Jack Kirby is a lot of thing. Um, but uh, to your point though, especially when it comes to that, I actually like the the world crossing over and stuff like that. And I would I would push back on saying, yeah, I understand what you mean when you're like, oh, you know, inside this one. Uh, manga there's like a whole world a whole story all these different things going all these different things adding together but I could also say, argue that that's a present in American comics maybe not as much as for like Marvel and DC but like for other things like I don't know I haven't read sagas but I heard sagas like that uh, Neil Gaiman's Sandman but then they got absorbed in DC yeah. uh, you can sit there and do like fables that also works on that type of logic where it's like there's this whole entire world but even then like if you take certain characters like there's the whole universe based in spider-man's lore there's a whole x-men lore. all these different things play out but um and that happens sometimes okay it doesn't happen a lot in mangas but there's a very few mangas that actually have uh continuations or like things like the most famous one is i loved it is uh subasa reservoir Quan subasa reservoir chronicles and xx holic they were two series made by clamp that were running at the same time and their stories intertwined all the time. And I love that series. It was so great. And like Subasa Reservoir Chronicles specifically was a, a story about connecting all the different other clamp art uh, our, uh, stories and stuff together in one little weird thing. It was pretty interesting. It had a whole bunch of different stuff. Had a whole bunch of references to uh, past stuff. But it was pretty dope. But um I do, I do want to touch on something you kind of hit on, but we didn't really dive into. It's like how American comics constantly have like different writers doing different things, and that's where you get the variety. Um, a thing that you don't get in American comics, or you don't really get, is to see growth. And I had a conversation about this like the other day about how one of the things that I wish you could see more of is like. I want to see Batman not necessarily grow or change, but be different. Like when you and it, you can you have it a little bit in Marvel, but let's say when you look at DC, Batman, Wonder Woman, and Superman—they're always static. They're always the same. They've been yeah. the same for the last however many years, and like they're not allowed to change. And so you'll see something around them change. For example, for Batman series. Batman never changes, but you see Dick Grayson go through a whole bunch of wild and crazy That's stuff. That's true. That's true. And, and it's like, I understand why I would much rather you do some of that stuff with, you know, Batman, but I like, like, 
I like Dick Grayson. I like. I wish he had could be a stable character that grows, and not just like I. I feel a test bed for you to do Batman stuff with. So I love TV girls just said I think capitalism affects the growth and change of American comics. <laughs> oh, I mean, okay, okay. <laughs> I was like, there's a lot there's to unpack there. <laughs> there's a lot to unpack there. It's like capitalism affects. I mean, like yes, in a sense, but I feel like because of how comic books and every like all series capitalism affects especially if you talk about mangas bro if you not rank high and jump you're gone That's you true. don't even get you don't even get allowed to story That's like very, very true yes this is very true uh so uh i love tv girl says something earlier they said i think the uh, the avatar last airbender comics were pretty good despite them being american comics and i agree the reason i agree is because i think that they uh, like I said earlier, it's a cohesive story that's written by a singular singular set of authors. And so they keep the story concise and it's all in their minds. So even if they have additional animators or writers or directors for the show or for the comics, um, it's still their vision and they don't have to worry about it drifting too far from their own vision. So, I don't know. I can't hear you anymore, but... You can't hear me? What? Nope. Wait, what, how did you just, just say nope if you can't hear me? Well, I know you can hear me. I <laughs> might just... Uh, exit left and come back. Just to just make see, see if it's me. Just give me one second. Yeah, hopefully it's not me. Because that is awkward. Alright, cool. There we go. I love TV Girl. Uh, oh, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Know. Okay, I love TV Girl. If you, uh, what is your favorite, uh, comic? Let us know in the comments. I, I thought they said X-Men. Oh, they did? Did they say X-Men? Was their favorite comic? Oh, I assumed. You know, what they, you know what they say about assumptions. That's true. You're right, you're right. They, well, they did say, uh, X-Men, they just future past with their favorite comic. Okay, that's true. What, uh, what other comics do you like? Look at this. This... This engagement, bro. Look. <laughs> engagement. We're going to sit there and talk to you directly. So I'm currently, You're a part of the conversation. I'm currently building out an apple paradise for this individual here who loves apple themed stuff. Right. Yo, let's. Can we talk about how weird Animal Crossing is? <laughs> Because <laughs> I'm for this, but like, let's really get into the whole like, bro. This is weird. <laughs> this is weird. Animal Crossing is very strange. You are correct about this. I mean, <laughs> what can you do though? It's like get into debt so you could go and make these other people happy by doing weird things, just like obsessive things. Like, oh, I like apples, so I'm gonna make an apple forest in this guy's backyard so he can be happy and be like, yeah, I'm gonna invite my friend over here because you gave me apple. Like this is just... <laughs> in video game logic. It's kind of like, yo, what are we doing here? This is true. However, however, who doesn't like a good apple? Mm. I don't. You know what? I don't. I'm taking a hard stance. Apple with the way can keep the doctor away all it wants, but I'm not gonna partake. It's hard. You bite into it. You can lose your teeth. It's a whole ordeal. <laughs> Some things are not even good. Okay, I think I got my apple thing down. He just said, I don't care. I need this. I no cat like desires. Yeah, yeah. I gotta satisfy. I'm trying to make this person happy by providing them with apples. Apple themed life. Uh, apple themed lifestyle. Animal Crossing breeds people pleasers. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, I love TV girl, or, people pleasers are drawn to Animal Crossing because they have personal trauma and that's the only way that they can live out their people pleasing without actually pleasing people in real life. Do I recognize I have a problem? Yes I do. But can I please some metaphorical am animals in a video game? I sure can. That's what you're into. And they're yeah. gonna be happy. They're gonna be happy. They they're gonna be happy no matter what. So 
<sighs> sorry. Not sorry. I'm also about to just load this person up with apple thing food. Just earlier. Let's just. We can just not. <laughs> we can just not. We could just not. We could just. We could just be better. Goodness. Apple thing table and table runner? We are there. You are consider yourself pleased. <laughs> is this what we're about now? This is what we're about. Ah, dang it. Can you not fit there? Oh, you can't fit this. Why are you playing? Why are you tripping out here? Okay. Ah, dang it. All this just so Tom look and get his bells. Well, technically, I'm working for a different employer right now. And so... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tom I think get... ain't getting jack for me today. No, okay. He getting something, bro. I love TV girls said that they call him Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> I want to... I want to know I love TV girls opinion on the capitalism of Animal Crossing. Let's go. <laughs> we need a revolution. <laughs> are you are you uh, reading this, this this stream chat? Who? You. Me? Yeah. Nah. You should go re read the uh, hop in the, uh, the stream like on Twitch. Nah, that's too much. That's too much work. That's too much effort. I just need you to read this stream chat because I love TV girls uh, so far. It's hilarious, and I think I know who this person is, so I'm gonna have to talk to them next time I see them because they are hilarious. Yeah. Dang. I can't even see the past chats. Oh, on uh, oh okay, that makes sense. Yeah, see, Dang, yeah, man, see, purposeless. Really it's okay. I look, it's okay. Look, it wasn't meant for my eyes. But I love TV girl is very. Uh, they they do not like Tom Book. Thomas Nook. I mean, who likes Tom Nook, bro? <laughs> so far, they seem very upset about doing business with Tom Nook. Which, I mean, part of that sounds like business with Tom No, 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 no. When has business with Tom Nook ever benefited you? I mean, I got a house. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, you're right. <laughs> Capitalism at its finest, bro. <laughs> <laughs> everyone, everyone walked away happy. <sighs> Look, I'm for it, bro. I believe in it. Ooh, let's uh, go. Ooh, let's go with the red cloth. I'm about way. it. Mm -hmm. Working everywhere. I don't know, man. Ah, dang. So this is a ground level TV. That is unfortunate. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, you gonna get the you gonna you gonna go on the Pokemon Adventure next week? What's next week? Oh, the uh, new Pokemon gets dropped. Yep. Mm. Look, bro, it's pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. Ah. Pretty good. Oh. They finally said, bro, we can go on an adventure together. We can hold hands and everything. I can. I can do you dirty in front of your squad. <laughs> <laughs> Why we can't you just be on the same squad together? Why you gotta do me dirty? Nah, 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 bro. <laughs> Somebody gotta get embarrassed. Somebody gotta get embarrassed. And like, ain't gonna be look, me. <laughs> me, nah, sir. No, sir, bro. All right, look at the starter, bro. I'm gonna get that grass cat, bro. <laughs> First off, I'm, grass cat. I'm gonna get the grass cat if I'm playing the game. All right, get the grass cat. We can see whose grass cat reigns supreme, bro. It's a, it's it's a, a cat a... and it's grass and it's green. Yeah, which means it's yeah. already the best possible thing it could be. Nah, man, there, there's better things it could be. It, it could have been that grass monkey. That grass monkey was lit. <laughs> I personally <laughs> prefer the grass owl. Me personally. Are you? Re have you read the chat? No. I'm not in the chat. I'm not gonna stay in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> so I love two girls really going in on Tom Nook right now. So I'm okay. So next podcast, I'm definitely adding the chat to the stream because 
This is hilarious. Right. So they said, okay. uh, they said, for starters, why did Tom Nook have two nephews and only named one Tom? <laughs> First off, how is Tom Nook naming his nephews? I don't know what that he named his nephews, but either way, if he did name his nephews, then that's hilarious. <laughs> I believe that means that Tom Nook is a part of incest. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> but they're animals. They're they're meta they're metaphorically animals and they're literally animals. So. Anim animals can't can participate in incest. I didn't know. I didn't know that. They this. can. They can. Okay. That's not morally objectable for not animals. Not to an animal, no. No. Oh, okay. I mean, there's I lots like... of animals who eat their partner, and I... oh, that's different. That's not incest. That's but... just that's just. Look, bro. Cannibalism hey, you can't bring in morals issues. into a conversation with animals and then just forget about the. <laughs> I'm not bringing morals. <laughs> I'm just saying, is an is incest okay for animals? How did we get here? How we... I need you to hop in this <laughs> did, chat. How did we get here? Let's not. Let's these, not. Let's. I don't want to. Comments. I don't want to. Honestly, I don't even like our conversation right now. How are we talking about incest with animals? I don't like this. This makes so, me uncomfortable. I love to you just said, uh, "Why should I have to pay time to, to build my?" own house on my property with my materials uh, I don't think you got a deed I don't think you got a land title I think honestly I don't think you actually own anything I think Tom Nook owns anything, Tom Nook everything. owns the whole island I love to girl I'm really sorry to break this to you <laughs> but it sounds like nobody told you that Tom Nook he is the he's the he is the capitalist capitalism was based off of Tom Nook <laughs> he actually wrote a book and gave it to everyone and that's how we have our capitalist system that's, that's what America is based off of is Tom Nook's version and vision of capitalism he one day chopped down a cherry tree and then he said one day everybody will have cherry trees and they'll come to me when they are ready for their own home <laughs> uh. Okay, so I think I'm done with this interior decorator. I think it's kind of ugly, but that's okay. Because I guarantee you that this animal that I'm about to talk to is going to say, Oh my god, this looks amazing. It's written. Watch them say, Oh my god. So they said, Wow, I've been. They're, they're literally you, happy. You know what I can't wait for, bro? What? For Animal Crossing to introduce interest. Interest? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's, that's just the different levels. First off, you got normal mode. This is like normal Animal Crossing. Dang, and then when you go to the next level got, up. I just got stopped by my supervisor. Wait, what? They have supervisors? Yeah, because I'm, I'm at work, guy. I'm at work. Oh, my God. Is it really a job? Oh, my I God. I am. I'm a, I'm a house designer. That's my job. Oh, my God. That's your job. But you want to know what the crazy part is? What? And I think it's part of the whole capitalism thing. I don't mm -hmm. get paid in bills. I get paid in a different currency. Wait, wait. Wait, there's multiple currencies in Animal Crossing? <laughs> there is. I get paid in uh, Pico or something like that. Okay, is, I'm assuming P Pico is another useless currency. Does it have a direct transfer rate from b to bills? It doesn't. I don't think. It, unless maybe I just haven't gotten far enough to find out. Is, but, is, is this... Is this the cryptocurrency of the Animal Crossing world? I am so hurt. No, well, no, it's not. But I am so hurt that... Bro, it sounds like cryptocurrency. Someone's trying to pay you it, but you can't spend it anywhere. <laughs> I mean, I could spend it on a different island. I just can't spend it on Tom Nook's island. So maybe... Maybe Tom Nook is... Wait, there's different. more than one island? Yes. I told you. Oh my no, I don't remember this. I'm at work as a as a happy home paradise home designer. An interior designer, my true dream in life. And mm -hmm. I'm designing homes for animals to make them happy. And mm -hmm. I get paid in a different currency than Tom Nook. And I don't know if it's if Tom Nook is the one who's who's doing things different. Like he's the I feel like Tom Nook is the America. Like he's using the metric system or the uh, the, the imperial, imperial system, system. <laughs> and all this time I just grew up here. 
Like I just grew up <laughs> under Tom Nook. <laughs> and now that I've got to it. spells as a currency. <laughs> now that I've got it. Like you literally plant a tree and it grows. Why would, why would you use that as a currency? You idiot. <laughs> And now that I've branched out and gone to a different island, I find out that this is the actual different currency. This is the currency of the world. And I'm this is what everyone here, else is Oh, wow. I've, I've been so blind. Tom Nook really Bro, you've been, you've been paying things in Monopoly money this whole time. Tom Nook is a crook. Tom Nook the crook. Wow. Mm, it's fine. Look. I love <laughs> girl said... Tom Nook indoctrinates children, <laughs> or or it's a question. <laughs> no, he doesn't indoctrinate children. He teaches them the value of debt and what you can, <laughs> all the things you could build if you just take a, a small loan today. Uh, Don't worry about the interest. Look, what's the difference than Tom Nook and then uh, the government giving out student loans? What's the difference? It's just a small loan to tell, so you can invest into your future. It'll work out, I promise. Ooh, I just, but I just uh, learned how to polish furniture. What do you What do you mean polish furniture? Like wooden furniture? <laughs> I guess I don't know. You just uh, wipe the furniture down real nice. Press A again to remove. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm done talking about slavery with extra steps with Tom Nook. I'm. <laughs> we don't. We don't need this. That is some glistening furniture. Oh my goodness, man. This man is really obsessed with this furniture. Oh snap, I could do this? What? <sighs> make these chairs sparkle. Man, they like dang. This chair is alive. It's a shiny chair. Do you, do you want a shiny chair? I don't know, but I want to talk to this little guy and he's gonna be like, Dang, this chair sparkler. Are you gonna are you gonna extort more c currency out of him? Uh I don't get paid for directly from the uh, customer. I get paid from what? my supervisor, who is not time. So so wait, 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 wait. Let me let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. I mean, I guess that's how all jobs work. Yeah. <laughs> you go do a job. You don't know how much they pay you. You just get your check and you just call it a day. Yep. And you know this, this game. This game teaches you everything you need to know about life. This is true. I'm and I'm, I'm starting to suspect that. I'm starting to suspect that Tom Nook knows that. The other islands have different currency, and he just doesn't care. I mean, why would he care? Tom Nook, he gets everything he needs. He literally, he literally has capital. He keeps buying stuff. He does. Tom Nook owns everything. He owns my life right now. Because when I go to work in my actual real life human job, I'm thinking <laughs> to myself, "Dang, how am I gonna pay off Tom Nook?" <laughs> That's how I know that Tom yeah. Nook has a hold over my life right now. It's <laughs> mm. crazy. So we've, is crazy. We've, we've drastically drifted from comic books, but that's okay. Oh yeah, it's okay. Uh, Look, should we talk about the Black Panther? Or should we save that? Save that for a couple weeks. I'll save it because people are all like, uh, I mean, we say save it for a couple weeks. Look, let's really let's ask let's ask our audience. Have you seen Black Panther yet? <laughs> Um, <laughs> I love you're... TV Girl. Have you watched the new Black Panther? You get to decide where this content goes. You get to For option A, push B. <laughs> For option they, said, they said save it. I haven't seen it yet. Well, that's yeah. unfortunate. So, in Black Numbers. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. Choice is an illusion. <laughs> Choice, yes, I, you thought that we weren't going to talk about, but we no, we said it. So yeah, no, uh, we'll save that for another time. We, you I, know what we can do? Hmm. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure everyone's seen, like, at least seen the trailer, so they know what the ooh, the okay, do a trailer costume looks like. No, no, we don't. Not oh, you want to talk about a costume? Oh my god! I was talking, talking about it. It really makes me mad. <laughs> Look at it, though. Look at it. <laughs> it look, 
It used to be so cool, but now it's not. <laughs> I just want, I just need the fur. That's all. <laughs> it makes me happy. That is literally hilarious. So, well, for those who don't know, uh, uh, my friend Quan here, he is uh, absolutely uh, disappointed with the costume choice. I didn't say absolutely disappointed. It just seemed like there was better choices that could have been made. Uh, Okay, I agree with that though, cause cause in the comics, uh, Shiri. Uh... Wait 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 wait! People don't know. You got you gotta be careful. You don't want to spoil things. <laughs> See? <Is that> like <laughs> no, I like, I like literally don't even know how to continue. Exactly. Uh... That's what I'm saying. I just was going. I was just sit there. Just like there's a costume change that there, I don't appreciate. Okay, you're right. And that was all I was going to say. Ah. That's all I needed to say. Ah, okay, you're right. Let me. Yeah, you're right. Let me stop while I'm ahead. Exactly. We'll come back don't. to this conversation in a couple weeks. Exactly. When all you people don't stay current, catch up. But still keep watching us though. Stay current on here. Stay current. We have good yeah. takes. I honestly stay caring in everything. Read everything the moment it comes out. The second. You don't need a life, bro. Okay, so. How about we change topics a little bit? What, Ooh. uh. Not Black Panther, but. What's your favorite most recent movie that has come out? We'll uh, say like say a year. Re- we'll say like a year. Okay, like cool, cool, year. cool. Everything, everywhere, all at once. Oh, honestly, yes, yes, yeah, oh, yes. that's good. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's such a great movie, it and good. it's so like I feel like that's just a movie everyone should watch. Everything, everywhere, all at once. Okay, so without spoiling, to, uh, I don't even know how you would explain this movie. Without First off, I, you could explain what happens, and then you still won't get it. Like, <laughs> that's true. That is so true. <laughs> We'll be like, yeah, this is what happens. And you're like, what? <laughs> Trust me, when you watch it, it'll make sense. That is hilarious. Okay, so, I mean, this isn't a spoiler, but it is kind of a spoiler. Uh, so, everywhere, everything, all at once. Everything, everywhere, all at once. Uh, is it, it is rated, I, I believe, right? It's a story about family. Uh, uh, maybe. Yeah. They do They do get explicit. Yes, it is rated our uh, I Love TV Girl. Um... It is about a woman who uh, is essentially she's essentially sucks at life. That's what the long and short of it is. She sucks at life, and an alternate version of her husband makes contact with her from a, another universe, like an alternate dimension. Um, also, FYI, did you know that the person who plays her husband also played Short Round in the Indiana Jones? No. Really? Yeah, that's no, the same guy. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, no, I didn't know that. And she is one of my favorite actresses. Um. But essentially, she sucks at life, and she finds out that uh, essentially there's a multiverse, and her multiverse versions of herself are all better than she is. <laughs> and she essentially has to save the world being uh, an individual who sucks at life. That's pretty much the longest short of it. Uh, it is an action film, um, and an a- action adventure-ish, but not really adventure. Um, more of an action film. Uh, there's a lot of fighting, um, but it's, it's it's pretty good. It's really hard to explain, uh, and I know what I just said doesn't make any sense, but yeah. You have to believe in yourself. I, the only thing I was disappointed about, I actually, I'm not even going to really get into this, but I, I just didn't like the location. Like, it felt, it felt, what? hold on, hold on, it, it, in the grand scheme of things, like, if you consider the entire movie from start to finish, and where everything popped off and took place at, I felt like it was, for it to be a film about, you know, a multiverse, it felt very confined to that one location. 
Well, that's okay. So I was hoping it was gonna like. Just because it's multiversal doesn't mean that's it's true. like, yeah, like, and to because what we were dealing with was a whole bunch of things. Because there was a times where it weren't just there, but yeah, it's like it's very selective. I didn't find that to be an issue. I don't know what you were looking for, but you're weird, so who knows? <laughs> that's true. But yeah, I don't know. I don't really find that movie very thought provoking. I feel that any party who watches that is going to come across a topic that they probably have struggled with in life and it's going to make sense to them because there's so many different aspects and so many different things that can be touched upon that is it's really crazy. It's really great. And I, I want everyone to see this movie. It's getting put in the library. Yes, it, it, it's a pretty good movie. It is a pretty good movie. And I think it was really well done, really well shot. The cinematography is phenomenal. The writing and directing is, I, like, I'm honestly, like, so uh, I watched it, and there, there was a number of questions, and I was like, uh... I had to, I had to like sit and think about it for a while because I was like, man, that was a lot. And there came a couple points where I like teared up a little bit, and I and like uh, this isn't a, it's like a spoiler, but not a spoiler. There's a point where uh, <laughs> she turns into a rock, a rock. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I found myself like tearing up a little bit, and she's a rock. <laughs> and I was, and I, and like, I had to sit and think about that for a while. Like, how did they manage to, um, like, bring me into this so emotionally? And she's a rock, and I'm like, and I'm actually kind of sad right now. That to me was like super fascinating. So yeah, yeah. I think they, I think they did a really great job uh... doing it. Yeah, it was a really great movie. I really, really do, do enjoy it. But you know what? Let's 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 you know go on another tangent. We've been going on tangents all day. Let's let's have one more tangent. What do you what are your feelings towards spoilers? <sighs> okay. So I'm complicated cuz I okay. study films for a living. Yes, um, yes, yes. And so Oh, I don't know what to do. So, uh, when it comes to spoilers, there's a couple things. Number one, is the movie, so, so when, when it comes to spoilers, so I do a lot of movie research. I, I'm like, I, I feel like as I talk, I have to add additional context. So, uh, dang, I really wish, I, I think, uh, I wasn't paying attention. I accidentally finished this. Okay. Uh, so, when I'm doing movie research, I usually start with a trailer. And a lot of people don't really care for trailers. Like, they just assume the trailer is a trailer. Uh, but I feel like the trailer is one of the most important parts of a film because it sets up your expectations. And so, for me, when I watch a trailer, then... If the trailer feels like uh, it's heavy on a specific aspect of the movie, and I feel like I can get most of the story from the movie, then a spoiler doesn't matter to me. It's more about okay. understanding how the director and the writers and the cinematographer decided to go about getting to that specific ending. <laughs> However, if the story, if there's a primary component to the story that makes or breaks the story, whether you know it or not, then I usually don't want to know that. And that's the hard part. It's yeah. like, there's some stories out there, I'm trying to think of one that I watched recently, that uh... So, uh, for instance, so, uh, The Ozarks. Okay. Uh... Great storytelling, really phenomenal writing in the Ozarks. 
they did a, a really good job of breaking away from Breaking Bad because when it starts, uh, a lot of people said that they felt like it was just Breaking Bad, the first couple episodes, uh, which right. I totally see. Uh, but then after the first couple episodes, it really does a phenomenal job of saying we are not Breaking Bad. Uh, and both Breaking Bad and the Ozarks uh, are phenomenally written. And what I like about the Ozarks is that you can completely spoil the entire series. And you, if, if, if a person is interested in that specific uh, like genre or story type, they can still watch it and still enjoy the entire story. Because the Ozarks is that well read. Like, I could tell you what happens in every single episode of Ozarks, and then you'll watch it, and you'll be like, man, that was so good, even though you know all of the spoilers. Like, you can know the entire story and still watch the Ozarks, and it'd still be a good show. Yeah. Because it's and about so, it's about how did they manage to get there, where some yeah. spoilers are like, like, it spoils it because the mystery is the only thing that's holding the entire together <clears throat> and that and i i 100 uh, typically i'll agree with you but like let's say for the example of the ozarks there's certain parts of the ozarks where it's like you can't know what happens because watching that unfold isn't isn't like ah the shock value of like why like like that's the feeling that i always get when i watch the ozarks or at least this like I'm watching it and I'm watching things be, like play out and I'm like, oh, okay. All right, things are fine. And then a curveball gets thrown and it's just, it's some wild curveball from left field. And you're just like, why, 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 why did this happen? What is, who does this? Who, who thought this through logically? And those things, I feel, I feel getting told those things in advance may like affect how you sit there and do the story but i feel like a lot of the times what you really need like a lot of the times when you watch a story you kind of know the path is going down like, so so yes and no uh this is my thing i i so i'm not the greatest writer alive however uh i've spent enough time uh writing and reading and doing research on films uh, right. to have a pretty good idea on uh, the routes that a writer can take in a story that I would consider good routes. And the only re the way that I base that is off of ratings. And so, um, and I'm only telling you this so that you understand that I'm not being subjective. Uh, okay. What I did was I spent a lot of time looking at movies that had uh, you know, one star ratings, and then movies that had five star ratings, and then movies that had three star ratings, and then I analyze, uh, essentially like the ratings that they left behind, and then the movies, and what the movies did good, and what the movies did bad, and what it, when you watch a movie or a TV show, and it, there comes to a crossroads, usually like a character making a decision or a character about to say something. Um, there's usually like one or two or maybe three good options that the right. story can take. And based off, like if they take one of those options, in my mind I'm like, okay, this is a good story. Usually if they don't take one of those options, it's usually not a good story. However... If they don't take one of those options, but it's phenomenal writing, and they manage mm -hmm. to trick me, and they 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 found a completely different route, that's when I love it even more. Because I'm like, wow, you actually managed to take a route that wasn't previously previously like set by a different story, and so right. I love that. Uh, what? So uh, I love TV Girl. Uh, the Ozarks is not based off of Breaking Bad, but Breaking Bad came out, I don't know what, uh, almost 10 years ago? And, uh, if you don't know what Breaking Bad is about, it's essentially about a drug-dealing teacher, science teacher, <laughs> uh, 
Long and short of it, right there. Uh, drug dealing, science teacher. Yeah, uh, who, Breaking Bad is how about how this good person broke bad and, yes. went and became a part of the MLB. Yeah, he, he was a good guy, and he was a science teacher, and he found out he was dying, and he didn't have a lot of money, so he decided to break bad and uh, use his science teaching skills to uh, stop, become a criminal drug overlord and make the best drugs ever. Okay, so that was Breaking Bad. Uh, the Ozarks is not a, like Breaking Bad at all, in my opinion. It is a story about drugs. However, the Ozarks follows uh, Marty Bird, who is a genius when it, when it comes to business. Uh, not really business. Oh, so I, when I say business, accounting. when I say business, I mean like handling business and knowing who and and how to get things done. And yeah. he's a genius when it comes to he's yes he's a genius when it comes to accounting he's a, a, an accountant by trade, uh, but Marty Bird is what I would say in in storytelling. Uh, Marty Bird is the uh, so this is a little bit of a theory, but uh, I write about a character in a story called a loyalty king or loyalty queen. Uh, and the loyalty king slash queen of a story is usually not the main character. However, they, uh, the main character, as they're going, having their ups and downs, the loyalty king is always there to support the character and rarely ever turns on them. It's usually not like a turn. It's, if anything, it's not like a turn. It's like the, the main character let, the, let them down. And then, uh, they, so they left the main character, but eventually they come back. The Ozarks is phenomenally written because the Loyalty King is the main character. Like, Marty Bird is the Loyalty King. And the entire story, he does all he can to support everybody around him. And he's just trying not to let it all fall apart. But the entire story is falling apart because of all the people around him and i think that is such a great way to write a story because he's so smart like if it was just him there wouldn't be a story because everything would just work but because there's all these other influences they can't get the drug empire to just work because his wife is always fighting against him his Business partners are fighting against him. The town is fighting against him. Like, everybody's fighting against him. And he's just like, if y'all would just let me run things, things will work well. So, I love the Ozarks. And I think it was it's very well written. And it seems like, and because he's a nice person, even though he's a, <laughs> he's a, a money laundering <laughs> criminal, uh, because he's a nice person, uh, he gets stepped on a lot. And it's really unfortunate. Sorry, that was like kind of a rant, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's so cool. Really quick. Uh... Oh, this is what we're doing. <laughs> uh, I love TV Girl asked uh, your opinion on Gravity Falls. Have you watched that? Oh, me? Yeah, I love Gravity Falls. Um, Gravity Falls is one of the one of the great children shows that came out. I really like the mystery aspect. It was really written really well. Um, it didn't hold people's hands, and it just kind of said, "This is the story we're going to tell. We're going to be weird." And I loved it. Now, is Gravity Falls similar to uh, Steven Universe in any way? No. So, Steven Universe is more of like a mystical space type of journey, and honestly, the overarching theme of Steven Universe is growing up. It's a coming of age story. While Gravity Falls is a mystery, it's a, it's a, it's a. I don't want to say who done it, but it's always just like intrigue and th figuring things out, and it's always there's this mystery about what's going on, who, what's doing this, we're finding it. It leans a lot into like the I don't want to say Lovecraftian horror, but it's like that we're in out of our depths type of like horror, like strange things happening. We can't control it. We have to just find a way to, like, you know, it, it, I don't even want to say horror. Is there a, it's like, is there a mystery to 
gravity bombs? Yes. What's the mystery? The mystery changes, but <laughs> like, like, so in Gravity Falls, I'm trying to remember because it's been a while since I watched it. The first thing is, is there's a book and then, and it's like, who wrote the book and what is all this stuff going on in the book? Like there's strange things happening and it's just about figuring out what's going on in Gravity Falls. Like gravity for oh hot take everyone hold yourself hold prepared gravity falls is written like how attack on titan should have been written like it's a actually good mystery that i actually care about figuring out and they actually resolve it with interesting points instead of just dumb things that hmm. make just no sense because time and plot devices <laughs> i'm just like yeah, you never watched Gravity Falls? No. I it, So when I saw it, it didn't seem like a show that would appeal to me. Oh, you would love Gravity Falls. Mm, I think you would love Gravity Falls, but you're also weird. So you could just be like, they did this one thing and I don't like it, and you just ignore it. But, but I would I, say... I don't know. We, we could see. What, watch, yeah, watch the first season of Gravity Falls. Uh, it'll be fine. You, 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 Pretty sure it's on Disney+. Plus. Go ahead. Not spon not sponsored, but could be sponsored. <laughs> Disney, if you're listening, I'll throw the sponsors. <laughs> no, Disney, if you're listening, I'll do so much, man. I'll accept that. You're the one true source of all entertainment that I need to watch. Please. I would love Please to Disney. write for Marvel. Uh, I could. I don't. Uh, uh, no. And I say uh, that because I would love to write. I would love to write stories about characters that are long forgotten <laughs> and like what they're doing. So like characters that uh, haven't been written about or used in, you know. Yeah, those are the best ones because you can just do whatever you want and nobody's going to Yes, care. literally. And I, and I would tie it into so many things. Like where was this character during, you know, Civil, Civil, uh, Civil War or during uh, John Hick Hickman's Avengers and New Avengers. They so say you had to do that. You could just do little things of this is what this character is doing. That's kind of like what they do with the Hawkman. Oh, not Hawkman. Uh, Hawkeye series. Like, uh, Hawkeye basically was just like, yeah, while all this, it's not while all this stuff is happening. So like, I'm just down here stopping Sharkman or something like that. Like, you know, like. But I think the Ronin I, was like a really interesting character like he made him interesting again i uh, okay if we're talking about mcu i can understand that but honestly mcu hawkeye and comic book hawkeye are two different things That's comic true. book hawk like comic book hawkeye is he was like he started off as a villain he always just kind of was like i don't want to say a bum but he kind of like He's just kind of like, yo, I just hear, I do some stuff, and then I keep moving, you know? But I don't know. I could be reading. I don't read Hawkeye that much. I don't want to piss off any Hawkeye fans. They come after me, you know? Okay. But. All right, I love TV, girl. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll watch a couple episodes of Gravity Falls and see if I'm into it. If, all, you, all you have to do is watch a couple, and you'll, you'll immediately know if you're about it or not. Okay. It seems interesting. Is it funny? Yes. Okay. They have some pretty good jokes. Like, Gravity Fall... Okay, so... I'm trying to think of shows that I know you've watched. I would say Gravity Falls is better than Steven Universe. Okay. <laughs> and, and I would say that it's a better narr... Okay. I would say it's a better narrative than Gumball, but it's not okay. as funny as Gumball. Okay. Like, it's an actual narrative story. Or, okay. honestly, you know what I would say? I will say Gum uh, Gravity Falls is a better narrative than uh, Adventure Time. It's a more cohesive... Like, it okay. still has that episode of the week we're doing weird, wacky things. Okay. But the cohesive narrative is better. Where instead, like, in Adventure Time, you're just like, I don't have any idea what this means in the world. But we're in Candy Kingdom and the lollipops have problems. Okay. I dig that. And I like all of those series. Like, Gumball yeah. is hilarious. 
Gumball is hilarious. Like, there's not a funnier children's show. Than yeah, Gumball. I don't think there's a funnier t- children's show. I think SpongeBob. I think pre. Like, I think season one, two, three. Even season, even then, Gumball is funnier than that. Yeah, no, I think, but that, but I, that's what I'm saying. I think that that would be the closest second. Would be like season one, two, and three of SpongeBob. After that, SpongeBob falls off. But <clears throat> yeah, Gumball is consistently the most funny. Children's Bro, they show. have they have jokes that just <laughs> just hit, uh, and I just love it. I and I love uh, the mom is my favorite character. Uh, hashtag cat. <laughs> but, oh my goodness, she nah, is Gum- literally hilarious. Gumball is my favorite character, bro. He's hilarious, Gumball is bro. also pretty funny. And then the fish Good. brother Darwin. Yeah, <laughs> I like uh, Annalise. The sister, I like Gumball. And I mean, the so. whole ca- cast is just really bro, good. Bro, the let's dad talk about the dad. <laughs> let's talk about the dad. Let's talk about. Oh my goodness, the dad right, having me dying. We're, 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 we're gonna get into spoilers because I got to talk about this. You remember when he got a job <laughs> and the world ended? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna remember oh, when he got ripped or he got jacked. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Bro, like, his stories be so hilarious. <laughs> I love them. Oh, my God. Please. Bro, uh, Gumball, Gumball is a masterpiece, and it should just be, you know, there's a lot of good old, like, kids' TV shows now. Well, I don't want to say nowadays. I haven't looked at what's been going on. But, like, I remember I really liked OKKO. OK that was a pretty good one. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I watched that one. I watched it. It was pretty all right. It's like, if you're into, like, like those action old action cartoons it's a good show to watch because it's it's not like it's it's a homage to them but it's still like a joke and it's comedy but it has all like the tropes and all this stuff monster yeah. of the week it's pretty it's pretty hilarious but um what other ones were we bear bears was pretty funny uh i'm trying to think of some stuff besides uh cartoon network ones but you know so i love uh Rick and Morty, which I know you love. Yeah, cool. Oh yes. my gosh. Okay, I love TV Girl just introduced Uncle Grandpa, which is the dumbest. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm the glad you said that. The dumbest show ever. <laughs> I mean, there is definitely funny, but it is the dumb. Like, I like Uncle I... Grandpa is literally what cartoon characters watch cartoons of. <laughs> I didn't like that. I didn't like that. I thought it. I didn't think it was. I didn't think it was always funny, but it was. It was so stupid that it was funny. Because I. I don't know. I thought Uncle Grandpa, and then I love like talking about Uncle Grandpa with people who have never heard of Uncle Grandpa, and they're like, "What is this show?" It's like there's this guy, and he's called Uncle Grandpa. <laughs> And there's like, yeah. <laughs> I love TV girl said, my mom never let me watch Uncle Grandpa as a kid. Yeah, you, your mom was doing you a favor. That's what I heard. I heard your mom cared about you. That's that's what I picked up. Uh, Uncle Grandpa, what a funny, dumb show. I want to talk about right. Spongebob. Bro, let's not do this. They, people going to hate me. Why you don't like Spongebob? Nah, bro. I got... Okay. Again, first couple... First season. Uh, you were like, first three? No. Only first the first season. Left, I like. Nah. Only like the first season. After the first season, it kind of just was like, man. Like, the second and third seasons were okay. But it was just... It started to get to the point where I was like, I I don't care about the city more. Mm. What's your favorite... Like, this is, what's your most memorable uh, Spongebob Sponge- episode? Oh. I need. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I need it. I love yeah. T. Uh, I love TV Girl. If you have a favorite uh, uh, SpongeBob episode, feel free to throw that in the comments. My uh, in the chat. My favorite uh, SpongeBob episode is uh, this, so. I have two. 
this one is the one that my parents stopped letting me watch Spongebob on, though. Uh, it was the episode where they were swearing, and instead of swearing, it would just play, like, dolphin sounds. <laughs> And when my mother heard, it was when I was watching that episode and my mom heard him uh, see the word and he tried to say the word and it just played the dolphin sound, my mom was like, what is this? And I was like, this is Spongebob. And, it's, and then the episode continues and then he's like, he's like, look Patrick, this word is, <laughs> and then Patrick and him proceed to just <laughs> swear for the next five minutes. <laughs> with it being <laughs> censored with these dolphin sounds. <laughs> My mom was like, you can't watch this anymore. <laughs> she was straight up like, "This, you can't watch this anymore, I'm sorry. And <laughs> she made me turn it off. And I was like, that was so funny though. And then I, of course, like, you know, a couple years go by because I was a kid at that time. Uh, and I started watching it and that junk had me dying. Uh, remember, my mom famously doesn't like cartoons or any stuff, and I've only la heard her laugh at one joke from a cartoon, and it was, uh, what was it? It was not Gumball, it was a, uh, Chowder. It was a Chowder oh. joke. Yeah. And it was the episode where Chowder, um, it was, I can't remember what it was, but it was like, Mong Dal Chowder's like mentor. He uh got a he got like a jack and he was all like, Oh yeah, I'm gonna be a lady killer, yeah. And then I can't remember what happened. The but the joke was Chowder was like, Look, maybe if this happens, then you won't have to kill the ladies, they'll just come up and talk to you. And my mom died laughing. <laughs> and that was like the only time she ever laughed at a cartoon. I can see your mom laughing at that too, because that does sound really funny. It was really funny. <laughs> But she's like, to this day, that's the only that's the only thing she ever thought a cartoon was funny. Anything else, she's like, this isn't funny. This is stupid. <laughs> that moment, though, was vindicated my entire life. I was like, finally, you get it. Finally, you understand. That is hilarious. But yeah. All right, we gonna be uh, we gonna be wrapping it up here soon. Uh, yep, yep, yep. I love TV just... girl. We gonna wrap this up soon. Uh, thank you for following us on the chat this entire time. Um, we gonna finish it out with one final question. I want everybody to talk a little bit about their uh, favorite character from comic book, movie, TV show. Uh, just the they have they don't have to be like a well written character, but just the character that you're just like I really like this character. Oh. Yeah, take it. Take a moment. Take a moment. Think about it. Uh. Hmm. So I'll give my character. This is my all-time favorite character. Uh, this is across comics, Marvel, mm -hmm. DC, uh, maybe mangas. Um. And it's a character that I would love the opportunity to write a story for. Uh, it is Nightcrawler from the X-Men. Uh, okay, I would, yeah. I would love to write a Nightcrawler series. Uh, and I think I could do it pretty well. Um, but... I think I, I, Nightcrawler. He he he's always a background character, but he he had he does have a lot of really good uh, uh, scenes, like where he pops up and does stuff. So uh, why specifically Nightcrawler though? Like what 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 speaks to you about him? So I think that he's underused uh, as a as a main X Men. I think that. Uh, there's some things that they could have done in some storylines that they haven't done, which is fine. Uh, him being half human, half demon, uh, I think that... Man, he's, he's not really a demon, but whatever. Like, he is a demon. Eh, okay. So, so, 
<laughs> yeah, we can get into the things later, but so yeah. if you if you don't know how his powers work, uh, long and short of it is that he can teleport. However, uh, when he teleports, he doesn't teleport directly to where he wants to teleport to. Uh, he teleports to hell, and then hell is the medium by which he teleports to his next location. That's why when he teleports, there's smoke. Uh, he doesn't just teleport to another space. He teleports in there. When he teleports, he opens a temporary portal to hell, and so there's smoke that happens, and then wherever he teleports to, that portal opens up again briefly, and more smoke comes out. And so... I would love, and I just think that's just really cool. And that's something that you wouldn't really know about his character unless you were really deep into some of his stories. Um, however, I think because he's half demon, I think there's a lot of potential to write a really cool story involving Nightcrawler. He also has a lot of siblings who I believe are all dead. <laughs> uh, half siblings, not, not, uh,. Mm. Not like uh, step siblings or anything. Uh, he has a lot of half siblings, which I'm pretty sure they're most of them are dead. But uh, I would love to write a Nightcrawler series. Yeah, no, I don't have anyone I want to write for. That's okay. But uh, <clears throat> one of my favorite characters, and from one of my favorite, like if you really want to know, oh, hey, what's the your favorite thing of all time? Uh, Steins Gate. Um, uh, Rintaro Kabe, he's like the main character of that, and how can I explain it? Like, the mentality and mental fortitude to sit there and just go through this stuff and then still just be like, okay, to create a persona to keep going, to push forward, to I, go have through. Have a good night. Uh, I love to you, Yeah, have a good I, night. Thanks for hanging out with us. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, it was a good time, but the like the whole thing about his character is he makes a, a entire alternate persona and just solely just to make his friend feel better. Just because like, all right, you're going through a bad time. I'm going to do this thing and create it, and then I'm just going to dive into it. It's just he's a really interesting character, and if anything, more so than not, it's because I just really relate to that character. That's why it's like, oh. I had to do anything that would be the, my favorite one, I guess. Hmm. That's good. Yeah. Ah, oh, man. Okay. Well, yeah. I gotta say, guys, uh, this yeah. is a fun, great episode. First episode for uh, The Real Deal. Next week, I think it'll be all three of us. Uh, we'll have Allie back in the, in the video. And so... It will be fun, and then yeah. I'll also make sure to bring the chat in so that you guys can see the chat. Uh, yeah, we've got a lot of potential episodes, and if you have anything you want us to talk about, feel free to drop it in the comments. Uh, this will be posted on the YouTube tomorrow. Uh, the YouTube channel is uh, at Project Embrace. So, if you would like to uh, follow us or subscribe on YouTube, uh, just go to YouTube and type in at Project Embrace and we should pop right up. Uh, it has been fun. Have a good one and it has been the real deal. Yep. Have a good night, everybody.